Films and videos can have a lot of scenes all shot in different locations and all under different lighting conditions. Color correcting these can really take some time, skill, and a good eye. There are plenty of tutorials covering this, and most of them are really good. But, when you have a simple straightforward video, like this episode, I thought you might be interested in the simple way to color correct your video. Assuming you used good lighting and shot your video as raw footage, when you pull it into your editor, in this example, After Effects, it will look rather murky. That's okay, as we're going to fix that in two easy steps. Here's a short segment of me babbling away at the camera. Notice the black fleece is not a rich black, and the white symbol isn't a bright white, which it is in real life. Also, the colors are a bit dull, and the lighting is a bit dull, which they weren't when I shot it. To fix that, pull down the Effects menu, locate the Color Correction menu, and select the Levels effect. Now notice the color areas showing mountains of whites and color values. To the right, the area is blank, no mountains of color or white. So click to the right under the bottom bar under the mountains and drag the indicator that shows up to the left to just about where you see some color starting to pop up. What you've basically done is removed most of that murkiness in the video and brightened it up nicely. Now, go to the middle indicator and move it just a bit to the left or right to your liking. This will add some richness to the color in the video. Now let's make those blacks nice and black like they should be. Choose Effects, Color Correction, Curves. Go to the very bottom of the diagonal line and move it to the right ever so slightly. You'll notice the black fleece and other things that are black in the video now look truly black. This looks pretty good for what we need. If you need to do simple color correction, I think this is the easiest way to do it. You can also achieve the same effect in Premiere Pro by using the Levels and Luma Curve effect, and in Sony Vegas by using the Levels and Color Curves effect. Depending on how your video is shot and the lighting you used, it might take some tweaking, but I think you'll find the ease of doing it and the results are very acceptable. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.